my name is Green, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. After last episode, I did say I was a bit frustrated with how the base was going, but now that I have a bit of breathing room, pardon the pun, I am pretty happy with how this is going. So, I'm actually going to make this a bit of a terrarium. So as you can see, I've added loads of dirt, and I'm going to continue doing that. And I've actually got myself a couple of grass blocks, so I'm going to leave this to spread throughout the whole thing and then it should look really nice and green. One thing that I do want to do is change this glass to match this glass which means a lot of dye needs to be acquired so it might have to be mismatched for a while and I've also got myself some proper enchanted gear so I should take a bit more of a beating before I go down and lose all my stuff and rage quit over and over and over again. So I've got protection, I'm breaking in thorns, fire protection, and then I ran out of levels. And I've got loads of good gear now. I think I'm actually starting to get somewhere and it's starting to feel really, really good. What I also thought I would do is not make the front of the ship entirely, but maybe just a little bit. So I thought what we could do is just add the bow of the ship or the bow of the ship. I don't know what the word is. I don't know these technical terms. So if we line ourselves up, we can make the front of the ship sort of come out of the ground just a little bit. So it looks like it has properly, so it's a proper shipwreck. Now obviously in the normal ones, there's basically the whole ship there and it goes up, but I don't have the space for that. So I'm kind of just gonna have to work with what I've got. I think that's pretty good. It looks like it's connected up. I mean, to be honest with you, it should sort of go way across and this does look like the tip, but it almost looks like it's fallen in and we've got more of a complete ship here. And it's just fun to sort of run around and jump on and that's that's the main thing I care about. The grass is starting to spread and once the grass has spread, this will be very easy to just sort of bone meal up and get lots of grass in it and make it look extra nice. So I'm pretty happy with how this is going. I'm just terrified that something's gonna spawn and blow it all up. But I think that's a pretty good way to start. And it should look good once I've got it all lit up outside, because I have actually got my hands on some pickles somewhere. I tell you what, this base needs, this, this really needs sorting out because it feels like I've lost my phone all the time. Like I'm looking in every single room, every single, look at all this rubbish, absolute rubbish. I'm looking in every single chest, every single time, for something and I can't believe I'm looking for where where are my pickles where where are my pickles don't you hate it when you've just misplaced your pickles there they are there they are so the way you harvest pickles is you have to grow them on top of a coral block which is frustrating and this is the entrance to my base by the way which I think is pretty unique this is the only way in or out apart from the air column over there so if you go in you start swimming and you literally swim out of the bottle which is so cool so let's have a look at this base from the outside it doesn't look too bad but the mixture of glass is really messing it up a little bit you can see already how the pickles have made a big big difference so if I just place a few more the base should look really really cool is that a trident? Is it, there's a trident fella. Where is he? I can't see him. I, I see the trident, but I don't see the, the trident guy. Where is he? Where's this drowned? Because I want these tridents. He must be over here somewhere. Right, let's go for him. Uh, one, two. Get out of here! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Oh, it was the thorns. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just, uh, okay, I'm laughing for no reason. I thought, I thought that it was, uh, that he threw the trident at me. It bounced off my head and killed him, but it was the thorns on my armor that, that did that. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. It looked, that looks hilarious. So the plan today is to build a conduit, and I have a really funny design to use, but, I need a lot of dark prismarine to do it. Now, I'm going to enlist the help of someone far more qualified than I am to make to make the journey to the sea temple with me to grab all this stuff. So we're actually going to head over to Exizuma Void's base and see if he'll help me with 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 the whole getting the dark prismarine thing. 
as you can tell, I'm not particularly adept at getting anything in this game. And I actually have a quick travel to his base because my portal is not synced up. There's so many portals. There's one here, there's one over there, there's one just round the corner, and there's one over there. And pretty much if I go in any of them, they end up in someone else's base. So I need to... <laughs> I need to make a better portal to sync up with my location, but if I head back in exactly the same portal I just went into, I end up in Exizuma's base. Whoa! I love how fast these go. Oh, there he is, there he is, I see him. Fancy seeing you yeah, here. Yeah, fancy seeing you here, neighbor. So this is Exizuma Void. He does a lot of technical Minecraft stuff and Hermitcraft stuff. How did you say my name? Uh, Zuma. You said, I could have swore you said Xizuma. No, no. Uh, back in the day, I was once known as Shishwambam. <laughs> and now you're known as Turtle Bro. Oh yeah, this season I changed my skin. I'm now Turtle Man. <laughs> so this is, this is Zuma's base. This is what you've got going so far? I would not call this my base. This is me getting started with no care for building anything that looks interesting, right? This I... is just getting the trees, getting the plants, putting it all in one place. This is how I should yeah. have done it. I went heavy on the building and realized I don't have anything to build with. I had this idea to create a really funny underwater conduit, just so that, because out where I am in my base, it is a pain, but as soon as, oh, I don't want that. Uh, as soon, <laughs> it is a pain to do anything underwater. So if I get my hands on a conduit and I've come up with a really funny design, but I actually need a lot, and I mean a lot of dark prismarine, and I'm definitely not qualified to get it. How much is a lot, by the way? I don't have a specific number, but it's okay. It's in the region of hundreds. I think I think we might be able to help you with that. So a place you would find it naturally in the wild without having to craft anything, right, would be at an ocean monument. Yeah. And I just so happen to have conquered one. I'm I am out in the middle of the ocean. And I'm sort of surrounded by many people. I feel a bit claustrophobic. So we got Biffa behind me. I've got Mumbo in front of me. I've got Scar to the left of me. You to the right. Yeah, you're at the heart. You're at the I, heart I, of the community. I am literally at the... Yeah, I really am. Right, so this could get bad because there might be phantoms at night. <laughs> no, They'll be coming for me. Uh, and there's now guardians everywhere. So, dude, this is the place where we can get your dark prismarine. Um, if you stand on this corner... Which yeah. corner is it actually? It's this corner, and you look downwards, you will see this ocean monument has two entrances. What? Okay, that's weird. That's very weird. It's got like a bit um, sticking out there. Have you been in the inside yeah, there? Yeah, it's. This is, this is like. You know how the shape isn't like perfectly symmetrical? This is where part of it would have been facing the other direction. I think that's why it splits open. I don't know. That's so kind of strange. hard to describe. I wonder what the inside's like. Um, I haven't explored it a lot. I know there are a couple of messed up rooms, like there's a sponge room that's exposed to the outside area. The best way to deal with guardians is to run around a pillar over and over again, which doesn't <laughs> thank sound you for, like Thank you for advice. the demonstration. I, I needed that. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? So if you're ready to go for it, we're going to take a plunge, go into the gap down there, and there'll be doors and stuff on the inside to use. All right. Doesn't look possible. I'm ready. Right. Let's go. In we go. Oh, you went oh, straight Oh, God, for there's it. so many down here. I'm immediately panicking. Um, I hope you're behind me. There we oh. go. Cool. If we go over here, there's loads of doors in this space. There we are. Where are you? Oh, my God. I'm, I went uh, straight help. ahead past the cobble. Oh no. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You know where you're going. Keep going. Oh, I, see, around I, see, circles. I see you. I see you. I see you. Whew. That way. Straight ahead. Nice. I'm just going to I'm, I'm just going to lay down here for a sec, okay? <laughs> this is it. We can just mine the stuff now. Um nice. I've blocked it off so that there are no pesky guardians. Okay, I think we're going to have to do it like this. So I'm going to have to put a sponge in here. Right? Yeah, sponges don't really work as well as they did. Yeah, because the water can the water, sort yeah, of the water form just instantly goes a lot easier. Whoop. Oh, another sponge room. So we have successfully found three sponge rooms. Is that, that, is that unheard of? It's amazing. Yeah, that's super duper rare because it's a bugged out one. It may even have more than three. Um, I think I might jump down here and see what's going on. Uh, no. Too many guardians and not enough. <gasps> <prisoners>. <gasps> Are you down there? Yeah. 
don't go down there. <laughs> <laughs> you only saw you only saw half of it. Go around the corner and just take a little peek. Oh, I can imagine. Just, I can imagine. <laughs> oh, there's got to be a quicker way to get rid of that many. All right, my man, I've got a conduit for you. Thank you. Bam, and 45 Dark Prismarine. I've oh. contributed so much. Save No, saviour. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be quite enough for what I have in mind, but I think we've hollowed this place out on the Dark Prismarine front, and until we've got a farm for those fellas, I don't think I'm going to get any more. Yeah, it feels like that. Um, I know there are probably one or two more places. It's a lot bigger than it feels when you're inside it, right? Okay, so, so there might be a few more in there. If you've got the time, it might be worth having a look a little bit further. Okay, I think I'm probably just going to sail back. Yep, good luck with your build. And Thank let me you. know if you need any more help. <laughs> Will do. All right, farewell. Toodle pip! So a little bit of time has passed, and you may notice that my voice sounds rough. I basically had to take 24 hours off because my voice was completely gone. And it's still not back, as you can tell. But that meant I had an entire 24 hours on the Hermitcraft server without being able to record anything. So what did I do? I went and annoyed Mumbo, of course. So I went to his base. I spawned a lot of chickens all over the island. He still didn't notice, so I put the chickens down in his bunker, and then he finally came up. I milked his cows, and I scarpered. It was brilliant. But my voice has come back for just a minute, and I know I sound really rough, but there is a few things that I really need to do before I can end this episode. So if you can put up with my harsh voice for just the rest of this episode, that would be great. And then we can get this out perfectly. So what I've done is I've finished putting together the inside of this bottle. I've only got a few little bits of glass left to replace with the stained glass, but I'm pretty happy with how this is. Look, I even added a custom tree. Now there's two more things that I want to do before I end this episode. One is make a conduit, but the first thing I need to do is I propose to start a server-wide game of tag. And this is the tag that I'm going to use. So, I'm going to write down a bunch of rules in a rule book, and then we're going to initiate this game. So, to begin, I will be it, and I'm going to go and find someone and tag them, and then I'm going to chuck the rule book at them so that they know how to play. And hopefully, this will start a chain of events that lasts a very long time, and I'm pretty sure this game's going to evolve over time. So, let's quickly write down the rules. So, it's called Tag, You're It. Okay, so here are the rules that I've just come up with. The rules of Hermitcraft Tag. One, you must keep the tag in your inventory at all times. That is the key thing of this. You must keep it on you. Two, if you lose the tag, you must replace it. Fairly simple. Three, you cannot tag someone in the same episode you were tagged. For example, if I was tagged in this episode, in number three, I would have to wait until number four to tag someone else. Number four, you cannot tag the same person who tagged you. That stops it going backwards and forwards between two people. And five, if you tag someone new to the game, you must give them this rule book. Otherwise, they won't know why you hit them and ran away. And number six, the game can evolve over time. So I think I want to sign this and we can just write a new rule book if, if they want to. So I think, yeah, we'll do that. We'll sign it for now. Hermitcraft Tag, Volume 1. Perfect. So now, all we need to do is find someone to tag. And I think you all know who I'm going to go for, because I have a direct access to their base. Ooh, what's this? Four slabs in 2x2. Two two. Excisuma. I see, I don't know what that means. If I... Oh, I get the full block. Oh yeah, this is one of the new blocks. Thanks, Zuma. I don't know how you get this yet, but I'm gonna keep this for later. So I think part of the game here is that you're meant to tag sneakily. They're not supposed to know what's going on until it's too late. So this basically, any direction from here will go directly to Mumbo's base, which I personally, I think that's hilarious. And also I think it's key that we start a chain reaction here. So, if if I go and tag Mumbo, for example, we all need to go to his episode that he gets tagged in and say, tag, you're it, or something along those lines. 
I'm, I'm hoping over time, being it will be the worst thing possible. So I'm hoping that if you're it, people reject you. People don't want to be near you. I think that'd be really, really funny, like, if it just gets out of hand. I don't know how far this is going to go, but I really hope it does go somewhere and gets really crazy. All right, I'm at Mumbo's base. Whether he's here or not, I'm not entirely sure, but I need to do this very quickly. I need to hit him with this, throw both of these items. Oh, throw both of these items like that, and then scarper away as soon as possible so that he can work it out. This should be really, really funny. There he is. He's down there in his bunker. Let's go down. <gasps> Look at all the chickens. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. I think he's AFK. I really only want to tag him if he's not AFK. Okay, slight change of plan. So, Mumbo is genuinely AFK, but Doc MC is on his way here. And so he's not AFK and I'm going to I'm going to tag him instead since Mumbo is genuinely just not here. And I don't want him to miss it because knowing him, it'll go in his inventory and he will miss it. So Doc is going to be the officially uh, he's going to officially be the first person that gets tagged in this game. The chickens are giving me away. I don't think he knows where Mumbo's bunker is. Well, since we're waiting a while, might as well continue what I was doing. In a twist of events, Doc went and thought that was Mumbo's base, so he swam down there trying to get in, died, his stuff was everywhere, little did he know I was right here, so he said, oh, I'm gonna lose my stuff, and I was like, oh, I can get it, and then I've put his stuff here, and now... Okay, so not only am I pointing him to Mumbo's base, which is where he wanted to go anyway to pick up a slime ball, I've given him his stuff back and I will be waiting down there for him because Mumbo, for some reason, is still AFK. What are you doing? What are you doing? The amount of chickens in here is crazy. I don't think I'm ever going to stop either. Just the more chickens there are, the more eggs that they're laying. The more I pick up, the more I use them. The more chickens there are and it keeps going round. Boochie, 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 mumbo jumbo, you are AFK. I'm gonna take that moustache away. Mumbo, 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 AFK. I'm gonna take that moustache away. <laughs> I should not sing when my voice is terrible. Doc is taking forever. Oh, he's finally here. It took him about half an hour. Name tag is ready. Book, ready. Gladiators, ready. He's, he must be getting his stuff back. And then he's going to come down here. And then we're going to tag him. And then we're going to scarper away. Meanwhile, Mumbo has just been standing there the whole time while all this action's been going on. Come on, Doc, how hard is it? Honestly, the island is small. He's still looking around for it. He's found it. Oh, he's finally found it. Oh, there we go. Okay, he has no idea we're here. He has no idea. Okay, we gotta be very good about this. Ah! I did it, I did it, I did it! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All the time, Mumbo's been standing there. Oh, oh, brilliant. Oh, now we got to make our escape. He didn't even say anything. The game has officially begun. So that's it. Hermitcraft Game of Tag is now underway. And now, the last thing that I want to do before we leave is make a conduit so I can swim around here forever. Exai Zuma, or Zuma, was more than kind enough to give me a very, very valuable conduit. And I actually spent, because I had 24 hours on the Hermitcraft, without being able to speak, I arranged all my chests. So it is pretty neat and tidy around here now. So we actually managed to get just under three stacks of dark prismarine. Now I know that's not enough for what I want to make and I'm gonna make it just over there. So it should reach all the way in here and around the area where I'm going to end up building. But there's a very specific shape I want to build for this. And 10 green points to whoever 
can tell me what it is I'm gonna make. So we're gonna time lapse this now. Let's get into it. This is going to be an extremely speedy time lapse because I had to keep going up for air because I didn't know exactly where the conduit was going to be. So I'm not going to tell you what it is, but hopefully you can guess what it is I was making. And it took a surprisingly low amount of time, about 20 minutes to make this. And I am really happy with this. And I will be making an entire conduit design video very soon. And there it is, the final product. <laughs> If you didn't know, and you didn't get the, the 10 green points, this is Squidward's house from Spongebob Squarepants. And I think it's a pretty good recreation. And I finally have the conduit power, which means I no longer have to worry about my bubbles going down and drowning around here. And I think I surrounded it enough to give it a good amount of distance between me and the conduit. The other thing that I want to mention is I used every single prismarine brick to the block. There is not a single one left. I had to be very conservative, which is why I made it on this mountain here, so that I could minimize the amount that I had to use, even though it kind of stuck up above, and I even made the ears a bit smaller. I really had to be very clever with how I placed them, and I managed to make it despite only having three stacks of the blocks. I think this is a pretty good recreation, and I hope that everyone that finds this knows what it is and has a good little giggle about it. But I have seen a few people say that I haven't built anything futuristic yet, and that's true, I haven't. And this isn't futuristic, this isn't futuristic, but I am slowly gathering the resources to be able to build my grand futuristic base. This is just to get me started, guys, but you know what I'm like. I can't just live in a dirt hut. I have to make something special. So give me enough time. I will gather the stuff I need, and we will make something extra epic. These last few blocks are bothering me, but I will have to fix those another time. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. So this has been a really good and almost bad episode. Bad because I got really rather ill and couldn't record, but... A lot of stuff has happened because most of this was recorded over three days. So the ship in the bottle is pretty much done and decorated. My chests are all organized. We have started the game of tag and Doc is the first person to be tagged. We messed around with Mumbo Jumbo and made our little appearance as we seem to always do. And I sent him chickens galore in his base along with singing him a little AFK song. It has been a particularly good episode as we finally have our conduit. Unfortunately, you've had to put up with my horrible, horrible voice for the second half of this video. So I do apologize for that. I am on the mend, as you can probably tell. I'm starting to sound a little bit better. And hopefully, I will be good as new by the next episode. So that's it from me, everyone. Ooh. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hermitcraft. Let me know all your thoughts and comments and stuff and likes, etc. Down below. And good... Bye. I'm so ill.